let's continue on where we left off for the last video. This is part two of that one video. Um, so we're going to continue learning about sections, rows, and columns just to give you an understanding of, of, uh, of the possibilities for layout on your page uh, as well as when you're going to edit a page just how you can find what you're looking at and, and so that this doesn't sort of isn't too mysterious to you and you can easily sort of find what you want to edit. So the way they've broken it up is and you can see again so we've talked about sections and so this whole white background area is a section and then this is a section as well it has the same colored background and we've got a text area here and this is a video um, but it was actually entered in through the text module and I'll show you how this done. It's actually incredibly easy. You just copy the URL of a WordPress video and you you put it in the text area and and that's it. It shows up. And then we have a full width map. So we have a column that's a full width and above it we've got two uh, two modules next to each other that each are 50 percent of the width, the half and half. So let's go take a look and see where that is. Again down here we've got our text and I wrote the word video there because you can actually customize the labels that are on here so that it makes it easier for you to identify what's in there. And for your websites, I've done that already. I've already labeled each one of these to make them descriptive and to tell you exactly, you know, this is what this section of your website is. So if you're looking to edit it, it should be, it should be somewhat intuitive. And then here's that map, which remember was full width. So now you've seen how this background, this all, all this here is related to this here. And so what are some of these other things here? We've got green and blue and purple. So what we have here is the blue is a section. And so we've got two sections. And remember on our home page, we had one with a white background and one with this off off white uh, background. And then within this first section, we had a row which was uh, two columns and we had a row which was three columns. And so the green is a row and the blue is a section. So they've broken it up. This is fairly intuitive. You've got a section here and another big section here. And within this first section you've got two rows and you've got uh, this one row here and this other row here. And then in the second section you've got another row and another row. Now you can add anywhere you want. You can add another row. If I click that, see, look, it says, well, how many columns do you want it to be? Let's say we want to do one-third and two-thirds. So it gives us one-third and two-thirds. And then it says, well, what kind of module would you like? Well, gosh, I'd like to have a uh, uh, another text module. So I click text here. And it says, well, what, what would you like the text to be? And you can just say something, save, and uh, you know we well let's see what, what that says something we don't really know what it is let's say this is the something text module so that we can remember what it is when we look for it and now we, it's descriptive and then we can insert a module here and let's say here's all the different possibilities uh, but really you're you're going to probably just be using uh, two or three at most on your website blurbs um, and uh, and text modules and image modules from most of most of the websites is, is probably what you're going to have. So again, we just created a whole row here, and we can get rid of it. We can duplicate it. A lot of things we can do. We can also add another module underneath here. We could add another text module. Um, something else, and you can duplicate it. You can even grab, see how the, it becomes cross arrows? I can push my cursor down to grab and I can drag this and move it over here. So it's really powerful to be able to move things around. Let's say I want to move this one over here. I just grab and drag it over here. Now I want this one up there and now I want to delete that one. I click on the X. It's very powerful. So we don't really want this whole row. You know, it's like, gosh, that was a mistake. We'll just go ahead and click here and we'll get rid of it. So that is really what we have here. We've got sections and we've got green defines the rows um, and the uh, this dark color here defines the actual modules themselves. And so in order to have that white background, you know, and the different off colored background, you would change that color in the section because it's the section which creates uh, the section which has the distinct characteristic of that background. 
And so in the same way that when you're changing the content of a module, you click on these little uh, settings button or uh, icon, it would be the same for changing the settings of a row and the settings of a section. So you can click here on the settings of the section and you can see it says background color and here's our background color. And this is how we had a background color um, for that that section. And you can actually have a background image for the section. Uh, all sorts of things you can do. You can have uh, for rows, you can change all sorts of settings for the rows. It's very powerful and at the same time don't get overwhelmed because a lot of the time you don't have to touch any of these. And a lot of the time most of your pages will just be one section and maybe you'll have you know a couple of different rows maybe one row maybe two rows maybe three but for the most part it will be not too complex and you'll be able to find what you want to edit and change and change it out but if you want to grow with your website and you want to be able to uh, add more sections and rows or different characteristics that are specific to a whole row um, then you'll be able to do that and you'll you're you're learning how to do that here let's say this uh, this second row here maybe we want to give it a different color and uh, let's see is that one of the options here oh but they give us uh, advanced design settings background color okay so let's say let's see what color should we do let's make it uh, blue and let's just see what that looks like so we'll hit save we'll hit blue update we'll wait a second while the page refreshes and we'll view our page And you see what happened? That that row that we had, we gave it a blue background, and now that's blue. But the section is still has a white background, and uh, so there's a lot of a lot of things we can do, and also a lot of clues that we have as far as how to know how to get back here and to to change things. Now that doesn't really look so good, so let's go back and we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And how do we get rid of that? Same way we go back to this second row in the first section, click on the settings. We were in the advanced design settings, and they have this really nice little uh, icon here that allows you to refresh it uh, back to the way it was, to reset it. And they have a reset button that's kind of all over the place, so that if you do something and you want to just get it back to the way it originally was, you can hit that little uh, circle with the arrow on it, hit save, update our changes. So that is essentially what we have with the Divi Builder. The Divi Builder gives us, number one, the ability to have these complex layouts rather than having one main column of text uh, or one main column of text with a sidebar of information, which is very powerful in itself, but when you can add additional uh, layouts, a layout is sort of how you put pieces together. Uh, that's what the Divi Builder gives us. It gives us much more flexibility with regard to how we can lay out web pages. And a lot of websites more and more are going this way because there's, a, there's much more power in the communication ability uh, with these kinds of layouts. So the Divi Builder gives us that and it also gives us a lot of these, uh, these pre-built modules that also within each one of these have a lot of additional uh, features to them that you can add to your website that additionally add more add more to it uh, but we're going to kind of be stick somewhat simple uh, in a simple way with generally using a couple of modules uh, and uh, and just sticking with the power of the Divi builder to, to create these layouts you can also save layouts in uh, libraries and things like that which I will get to in a different video um, but that's really what I wanted to address. I wanted to make this more friendly environment for you to be able to find the content you want to edit. And then with the other edit videos that you'll be able to watch, you'll be able to hone in on if I want to add, uh, a, you know, change the menu in my navigation bar, if I want to add a new page, if I want to add an image, or if I want to, if I want to do different things like that, uh, those will be for different videos. But I think we're done for this one, and I hope you'll return for some more. Thanks so much.